I also go on YouTube to start I'd give an update on this antique Bradley electric car controller, kind of like a classic car EV. Anyways, uh, I did manage to uh, figure out a couple of things. Uh, this little relay here basically controls the power going to the digital circuit. Um, I do now have 12 volt going to all the control boards. And uh, initially, we all thought that these, I don't know if you can see them in there, little hockey puck kind of units. Uh, we thought they were SCRs. They're actually diodes. That's the reverse EMF diodes. Believe it or not, these transistors, eight of them, are the outputs for this EV controller. They're like 120 amp each times eight, so it's a fair bit of wattage. Very interesting controller, very weird. Um, another interesting thing is, I don't know if you can see it, but how it has a current sensor, there's a shunt, but believe it or not, it's this little piece of copper right here. The entire power to the motor goes through this. They've drilled a hole and they've put shielding, coax shielded wire on there. So the ground goes on this side and the center electro goes on the other side and there's a tiny, tiny bit of voltage that appears uh, in that plate, in that copper plate, when all the current goes through and it's a tiny little voltage that comes up to this board right here. That's the wire right there. And that's how it senses the current. Sort of like a really weird shunt. Anyways, that's how far I've gotten so far. Uh, I have hooked it up. Uh, and I, like I say, there's power going to the digital s section. But these transistors are not turning on yet. So, next phase. Anyways, that's how far I've gotten. Take care, you two.